In this lesson, we're going to learn how we can run our iOS version of our mobile app within a test environment. And we do that on Apple using the service called Test Flight. Now to get started here, you'll want to download the Test Flight app on any devices where you actually want to run your test version of your mobile app. And once you've done that, you'll want to open your app within App Store Connect. So to get our app into test flight for testing, we're going to click on this tab over here. So let's say for the sake of argument that we want to test this on our own device. So what we would do is we would come over to this internal testing section here, and we're going to create a new internal testing group. And by leaving this checkbox ticked, that means any new builds that we generate will be available to any users who we add to this testing group. Now this is going to take us into the team and you can simply come over here to add any team members that exist within your account. That will then send an email to this test user. So you just need to accept the invite via email. And it will give you a code like this, which when you open the test flight app on your phone, you can add to redeem and then hit redeem. Test flight will now download and install the app. So you can open it here within the test flight app and test out all of the functionality as an end user. Now, one of the things that I want you to notice here is that as I create data within this live app, that data exists not here within our development database, but in our separate isolated live production database, which you can always see by clicking here, switch to live database. And this will show you the data that currently exists within your live database, including any users who have signed up. So what you and your team members want to be doing at this stage is testing out your application and if you notice any issues like I have here when toggling back to my trips, which takes me to a different part of the map, then this is where you would either submit a new build, a new version of your application to App Store Connect, or you would do an over the air update. And there is a separate lesson that goes over how to make these updates and when to do a new build versus an over the air update, which I'll link to in the description for this lesson. Now, you may also want to test with people who aren't your team members or colleagues. And to do that, you're going to want to create an external testing group. So you want to give the group a name and then you just follow the instructions here. So we're going to add one of our builds that we want people to test. Now we should give a description of our app here. Now you're going to provide an email as well. When users submit feedback using the test flight app, their feedback will come to this email. Then you just add your contact information. And then what's going to happen is one of Apple's reviewers is going to do a review of your application before you can make it available to external testers. And as such, you need to provide a login for one of the users in your application for them to test with. So what I've done to prepare for this is created a user account with some data in it. And I've even got another user account where I created some data for public diary entries, just so there would be something for the reviewer to see. So you may want to do something similar in your app. So this is the user here who I've created for testing so i'm going to add in the username and their password and here you just provide some instructions to your testers on what you want them to focus on and then we simply have to wait for apple to review our build now it is worth noting this is a lighter review process than what they will do when we publish our application but they're just making sure that our app is functional and follows the basic apple guidelines now, once Bubble has approved your app, you can add testers to your external testing group. You can also just create a public link that you share. Now, it's been about 24 hours and Apple has approved this version for external testing, which means that provided this beta testing group has access to the build here, I can add testers either via a public link or by simply adding them via email. 
And after adding a bunch of testers, you might get a whole bunch of feedback and you might implement that feedback in a new version that you deploy. That version then becomes available within test flight and you can then provision access to this latest build in exactly the same way. So for this later version of my app, I can again add my internal testing group or I can add the external testing group as before. And then if you submit this, it'll go through another review process. And if it is approved, then your external testers will have access to the later build. And you can repeat this process until you have a version that you are happy to be published in the App Store. And it's that final publishing step that we're going to do together in the next lesson.